on this Friday, March 2nd. It's good to have you. I'm Lynn Smith in for Robin Mead, and let's get right to that. Christ. Neither the White House nor the FBI have commented, but referring to the U.S. moving forward with a plan for stiffer tariffs on steel and aluminum, and that could affect everything from the car you drive, what you're flying on, the airline, or just the beer you're drinking this weekend. So many expert Jen Westholm is breaking down the news. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Lynn. I mean, this was such a big deal in the business world yesterday. Uh, the business world was almost just agog. The stock market, the Wall Street Journal, the president's fellow Republicans, we're going to get to those. They all gave this plan a huge thumbs down. President Trump said he, uh, or President Trump wants to make good on campaign promises to revive manufacturing, like steel, with these new tariffs. That's what his point is. Now, tariffs are essentially like taxes on steel, 25%, on aluminum, 10%. Here's the president. As the FBI investigates the recruiting scandal in college basketball, Arizona's coach returned to the hour. Happy Friday. I'm Lynn Smith in today for Robin Mead at head baseball coach. Remember we told you about this yesterday. Yeah. He sent a letter to a high school player saying, we're not going to recruit you because of your state's pot laws. We were all jaw dropped at that story. Yeah. Andy has the update. Good morning. Good morning, Lynn. This had a lot of people just scratching their to forge an autograph and it ended up in a charity auction just makes it so much worse. But so props to our man, J.J. Watt, for uh, fixing the situation. Such a great guy. Thank yeah. you, Andy. Right. Are coming to get cosmetic surgery. I'm not making this up. Because they don't like how their selfies look. <laughs> Folks, we are better than this. Um, but researchers say this. Here you go, America. Let's see what Take a look at that. Yeah, of course. You so know they, how that they, they fixed my septum on the inside because I used to, after hockey games, set it myself. But okay, good morning, morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it was your cereal and Bob's septum. So, in other words, I don't agree with the study. I think my nose is that big to begin with. This is why I say I will go to my grave without plastic surgery. I hate this study. All right, yes. Bob, thank you so much. Are you waking up now thinking about Bob's nose? Uh, this is what mornings look like at our viewers' homes. Holly, it's your birthday. Keep getting better and better. All right, let's talk this Equifax breach. Millions more people were affected by the breach last year than originally thought. Jen Westhoven is here with more on that. Good morning. Good morning. It seems to just get it worse and worse. I feel like every time it comes up, it's a few million more, more people. We didn't count the last time yet. And this time it's another two and a half million people hacked. The grand total is now something as little as a Hershey kiss. It's wrapped up in that foil wrapper. Could cost more. Right, your beer cans, the airplanes we fly in, so yeah. many reverberations. Thank you so much, we appreciate it. Me too. Well, as the FBI investigates the recruiting scandal in college basketball, Arizona's coach returned to the sidelines, actually to a standing ovation. Yeah. Andy Schultz is here with more on that, continuing to insist he did nothing wrong. Yeah, you know, and Lynn, a lot of people thought Sean Miller's time in Arizona was done. Yeah. Uh, but can you yeah. imagine, like when, when a team is down four with under seconds to go, that's when you go try to beat some people did and I, and I they're like wait what we <laughs> lost as they found out right the about the concession a line yeah <laughs> andy oh, thank you so right. much well doctors are working on something and other major retailers making changes as to who can buy a gun at its stores and when money expert jen westhoven is here with the latest on ll bean joining a growing list of companies doing this good morning thanks yeah this is new this morning ll bean thing <laughs> well i mean it's much cheaper than the regular boots which are like 140 bucks all right Plus, thank it's kind you of so much. exciting. I feel That's like it's right. part of there. Ooh, we're having an event. Exactly. Well, it looks like Housing Secretary Ben Carson's going to have to eat off of the. All right. First of all, how in the world did you pull this off? Well, it was a. That's so where really did you find these scholarships? Little known ones. Little known ones, I went into the counselor's office my junior year of high school, actually 14 years old, um, when I actually bought it. So information was outdated, but all of those different places and just really getting out there, Googling things, that's really what helped me to locate enough scholarships. You're now 29. You've started your own company to help educate younger people on how to get this done. What's your best advice for the so many people out there that are having a hard time affording an education? Simply because you're not examining, okay, what is it that I like to do? Where am I headed? So that you're applying for those best fit scholarships for a higher chance of winning. And so the other scholarships didn't take into account the fact that you had already gathered a good chunk of change. Correct, they did not. That's a big part of That's this. That's a huge That's part. That's how you sort of gathered up to 150,000. You are now approaching a doctorate degree. What's next for you? Really just to continue to get the message out there for to win scholarships. And so I can hear the parents of those students on their computer right now. Tell me the website to go to. I mean, where do they? Gabrielle, an inspiration. And you've gone on to do such great things and you're just getting started at 29 <laughs> years old. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much. No, thank you so much for having me. 
I'm Lynn Smith. And for Robin Mead, thanks so much for watching Morning Express. Do not go far across America with Carol Costello. Starts